Marhaba, I'm belly dancer Jen Suya. This is Bob, and we're going to lead you in the top 10 moves to warm up your shoulders for belly dancing. You can do these moves every day, even if you don't have time to do a full dance practice. And you don't even have to be a belly dancer to have fun with this little workout. If this is your first time with us, watch me the first time I do the move, and then join for the repetitions. Yalla Habibi, let's get started. We're gonna start out in basic belly dance posture, which is our feet are a couple of inches apart. Knees bent, hips tucked forward, abs in and up, chest lifted, and shoulders relaxed. We're gonna start with our just basic arm circles, but the key is you gotta hold that belly dance posture, keeping those abs engaged. Here we go with the music. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. Trying to isolate that move just to the shoulders, not engaging the rest of the body in the motion, just keeping our posture. This is what this keeping at belly dance is, holding that posture and moving just the arms. Let's hold them at the bottom and then go back. It's just a warm up move. Here we go. And up, two, and down for two. Up, four, two, down, four, two. Here I am from the side, up, two. See those knees bent? Abs in, I think. Chest lifted. Move number one, just, just circling our arms, getting them ready to dance. So we do the move number two. I call these shoulder boxes, and it's gonna go like this, just moving the shoulders. Go up, forward, down, and back. Up forward, down, and back. Up, forward, down, and back. Up, forward, love that rhythm. Up, forward, down, and back. Again, feeling our range of motion while we isolate the moves. That's what belly dance is, isolating moves. Down and back. Let's hold it up here, and then we'll do it in reverse. Up, back, down, and forward. Back, down, and forward. Da -da 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 -da. Back, <laughs> makes me want to dance to it. Up, back, down, and forward. Whew. Okay, shoulder boxes. Just letting us know what, what can move, what's tight, what we need to work on later. Move number three, shoulder rolls. We're gonna roll them one and then the other. We'll, we'll do it like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. How's your posture? You got your knees still bent, abs in, hips tucked forward, chest lifted, keeping this move just isolated to the shoulders. Yeah, good. <laughs> Holding that posture is what's gonna make your dance fabulous. Let's reverse it to the back, the back, the back, the back. Now when we're done, I would love to hear how this was for you. If this is your first time with us, or if you've done lots of them, leave a comment and tell us what you like, what you want more of, what was difficult for you. Oops, losing the beat. I gotta focus, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Shall we move on to the next move? I call this arcing arms. Again, really important. Keep the abs in, chest lifted, using these muscles to keep the shoulders down. We don't want them going up because we're gonna do this. We're gonna arc them up. One, two, three, and four. And up here and down here. Lift with our wrists as if they're in water. Up here and down. Here's from the side. Now let's just do one arm. Up, down, and up, down, and up, down. Showing off, one, two. We'll have them do that when we get to shimmies, right? <laughs> up and down, up and down, up and down. Now let's move on to our next move, snake arms. This arm is gonna go up as this one goes down, this one goes up. Here we go. Hey, how about a shift the telly for this? Oh yeah, really snaky. And one, two, three, and four. And here we 
go with snake arms. Take it slow, slow, slow burn. We're trying to match our snake arms to the rhythm, to the feel, because it, because it has a really mysterious sound, right? This rhythm's called shift to and so we want to like make our arms look that way. But we can also do this move fast. Can you give us a faster rhythm, Bob? And let's hold our snake arms in the middle here. Just snake arms in the middle. Now we're still keeping very engaged in the abs, chest lifted, and I'm here rounding my shoulder, bringing my shoulders into it, rounding them as we go, snake arms. Okay, now for the next 30 seconds, we're gonna do snake arms, and if you get tired, you can just take a rest and stretch. While we do it for the next 30 seconds, I'm gonna tell you about our online course introduction, Belly Dance. I'll be up in the corner watching, here we go. If you want to learn to belly dance without my cues or choreography, to know which moves to do no matter what the music is, the Introduction to Belly Dance online course is going to empower you with those skills. With the course guide, two suggested schedules, and 20 professionally produced videos, by the end of the course, you'll have a solid foundation in the essential skills of belly dance. Enroll today at school.gensuya.com or use the link in the description. We are ready for move number six, which I call pulsing shoulders. And this is a move, it goes like this, in and up, and we're just gonna be bring our shoulders up and down, and then let them drop with the beat. It's like a folkloric thing that we often do with like um, cane dancing. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and down, 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 letting my hands float. Oh my gosh, how is this feeling for you? Oh! Okay, okay. Wow. Well, that's really impressive. I hate you. Do we hate him? How can he do that? That's not fair. Just wait till we get to our shimmies. How are we doing? Pretty good? Pulsing shoulders. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, let's move on to the next one. This I call L arms. Again, you know it with that posture. Get that posture. This in. This arm's gonna be out. This one up. Okay, you're only gonna be able to do half of this, Bob, so don't even try. Okay, so here we go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Now here, you have to work really hard to keep your abs in and your chest lifted, not caving. One, two, and three, four. Keep those shoulders down. Two, and three, four. Now I'm working seriously hard in order to hold this posture and trying to make it look like it's no effort at all. How about you? Are you feeling an effort? Afterwards, I want you to tell me in the comments which was the hardest move. Oh, how are we doing? Okay. Now, on, you know, on the channel, we have lots and lots of workouts and technique tutorials where we go slowly. Bob is always there playing with us. Okay, Okay. next move, shoulder thrust. This is like a super slow uh, shoulder shimmy. So here we're gonna, we're gonna rotate the ribs like this, arms out here, but it's a very deliberate move. Very deliberate move. Rotating the ribs around the spinal cord. And really thinking about the bottom of the ribs so we really get a maximum twist. So even though we're working on our shoulders, so, and I hear there's something like close to two dozen muscles in the shoulder area, uh, what do they call it, rotator cuff and all that? Oh my gosh. But we're really engaging the upper back too. And a core, I mean, it's belly dance. We're always getting core workout. And double it. This is not, I'm liking that, I'm liking that. We're not a shimmy, this is just shoulder thrust, very deliberate moves so that it looks like we're playing the drum with our moves. Oh my gosh, whoo! Okay, we 
we've got to save some room because now we're going into veil arms. And this is a move I love to do with my veil. And what we're going to do, it's like a silk piece of fabric back here. We're going to hold it with our fingers or like this, whatever you want. And we're going to take our arms and swing them like this. Now again, what's the important thing here? You know it, it's your posture. So keep in and up. Don't let that chest cave. One, two, three, four. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now if you want to see what this actually looks like dancing with the veil, go to our channel, check out our playlist of performance videos, and you can look up, there's at least one that's called Veil Dance, but plenty of them I'm doing the veil, and you'll see Bob playing his awesome drum, and you'll actually see our two sons, Dakota and Lhasa, playing oud and bass, and oud is like a guitar. So before they left home, we always did all of our gigs together, they played the music, awesome little musicians. Yes, we did bribe them with lots of good food, and all the restaurants that we played at, they always spoiled them because they were so cute. Yes, we worked them hard. Don't tell that to child services. I'm just kidding. They loved it. Okay, okay, now, last move, move number 10. You know what it's gonna be. Because I keep mentioning shimmies, right? We gotta do our shoulder shimmies, which is just like the shoulder thrust, but super fast. You're gonna do this one with us, Bob, and play too. Fast, fast, here we go. And shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. So keep your hands here. Try to keep everything else still while it's just your rib cage going. I've had a fabulous time with you. I hope you have had a great time. You know what to do, subscribe, hit the like button, comment, make your own playlist of your favorite workouts and technique tutorials. And when you want to learn how to dance without my cues, without us telling you what to do so you can put on your own music if Bob's not there playing for you, school.gensui.com, enroll in